Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels into the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Denver, Colorado, then you are in luck. Today we're going to see and explore what makes Denver a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Denver has over 620,000 people and is known as the Mile High City. Located in northeastern Colorado, right about here on a map. A mountain city that has great live entertainment, pro sports, and low crime, it is a very popular tourist destination and a great place to call home. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Denver a great place. Number 10, Mount Evans Scenic Byway. If you're anything like me, you love taking in the sights and seeing beautiful panoramic views, but don't want to hike three miles to the top of a mountain to see them. This is where the scenic byway comes in handy. Mount Evans Scenic Byway is located on Colorado Highway 5. In the comfort and safety of your car, you can drive up the tallest paved roads in America and reach heights of over 14,000 feet above sea level. There are a number of side pull-offs along the road that will give you breathtaking views of the Rocky Mountains. The best part is when you're done taking in the views and you have your selfies, you can get back in your car and drive back down the mountain. The road is only open certain times of the year, so depending on when you go, this will be a great way to see those mountains. Number 9. Red Rocks Amphitheater well, not technically in Denver, this one is close enough to make the list. Only about 10 miles away, no one can deny the awesomeness and beauty of Red Rocks Amphitheater. It's an amazing open air concert venue that is built into a red sandstone rock formation. With a capacity of almost 20,000 people, Red Rocks is a popular destination for touring musicians because of the ambiance and aesthetic of the venue. Though the weather is generally nice, shows go on rain or shine, and special lighting enhances the mood at night. Even if there isn't a show going on, it's available for tours which are worth it just to see it in person. Number 8. Coors Field If you're into Major League Baseball and enjoy watching games, then look no further than Coors Field. Home of the Colorado Rockies, this stadium sits on 76 acres with the Rocky Mountains setting a nice backdrop. With the capacity to hold more than 50,000 spectators, it's a major attraction to those who live or are visiting Denver. Whether you're interested in watching a baseball game or you just want to take a tour of the facility, Chorus Fields will be of interest to you. Number 7. Forney Museum of Transportation when I think of Colorado, I don't automatically think of cars or especially a car museum, but there is one right in downtown Denver. For over 60 years, the Forney Museum of Transportation has been open and is a great destination for people who enjoy historic vehicles and transportation in general. There are more than just cars. They also have buggies, motorcycles, trains, sleighs, bikes, and more over 600 different pieces across the museum and a number of mannequins posing with them. Go see some transportation related things you've never seen before in the Forney collection. Number 6. Larimer Square Hands down, the most lively section of downtown Denver and known as one of the most beautiful places in the US, whether it's trendy shops or art galleries, you'll find it here. Larimer Square is full of sights, sounds, places to eat, a lot of places to eat. This area of town is essentially the start of what Denver is today and is full of interesting places to visit that have entertainment in mind. The atmosphere is very inviting 
and Larimer Square is a certified historic district, so it's got that old time charm. Following a revitalization, this part of town is now the go-to place for people in Denver. Number five, Adam's Mystery Playhouse. What goes great with dinner? Murder and mystery, of course. Here you'll enjoy a great dinner buffet before impending doom. A murder mystery will happen before your eyes, and it'll be up to your team to uncover the clues and solve the case. Essentially a real life game of Clue. The Adams Mystery Playhouse is the only one of its kind in Denver and is not just for adults, but they welcome children and families. When the mystery is solved, the winning team walks away with souvenirs. Put that CSI detective work in action and see if you can figure out the mystery. Number 4. Denver Zoo First opened in 1896, it has evolved through the years and hosts more than 4,000 animals. Spanning 80 acres, there are exhibits for everything, from turtles to lions for you to see. Mammals, reptiles, birds, and aquatic creatures are all present and on display. The Denver Zoo also has activities going on throughout the year and offers photo safaris and animatonic dinosaurs. If you're looking for something to do with children, you can't beat a visit to the Denver Zoo. Number 3. Cheeseman Park What do you get when you cross a beautiful city park and a bunch of discarded, unidentified bodies? Yes, a haunted park. Cheeseman Park is located in the central area of Denver and is known as one of the most haunted spots in the United States. It's over 80 acres and provides a lot of room to do things like walk, jog, bike, or sit on the grass and enjoy the greenery. Meanwhile, what used to be Mount Prospect sits below you, a cemetery which separated the rich and the poor. The cemetery began to deteriorate and the city took it over and well, they turned it into a park. It's a popular spot for ghost hunting because of all the unrest. Number 2. Union Station Denver played an important role in the history of the railroad and the Colorado Gold Rush. The Union Station is a century-old one-stop for entertainment and hosts some of the city's best eateries in the city. Aside from being a transportation hub with trains, buses, and other public transportation, there's a lot to do here if you're traveling through on a rail or just want to go out for a nice afternoon. Union Station also has a lot of trendy boutiques to shop at as well if you're in the mood to spend some money. Number 1. Children's Museum of Denver Museums are fun for a number of reasons, but it's hard for children when you just expect them to stare at exhibits and keep themselves entertained. The Children's Museum of Denver is designed with kids in mind. It has many interactive activities that are sure to engage and involve. From climbing walls, electrical demonstrations, engineering stations, and an interactive art studio where you'll find this to be the highlight of your trip and a must-see for families with kids. Alright everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything or mispronounced anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Denver, Colorado. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.